I have bar 5.6 divided by 4. Now, some protocol has to be observed there. And those things are this. Whenever division of a negative number is to be carried out, one thing we must ensure is that the number carried by as well as the divisor must uh, must be able to uh, must be divisible. That is, there are such a division has to be carried out in such a way that no remainder is allowed, or I can say that only remainder or zero is allowed. So by the time I say that five divided by four, once it gives a remainder of b to one, two, three, or four, then such a question has to be adjusted. So now when we observe these things, so what we are going to do is to say that what? How many four can I get in five? And I can see it is not possible. So what I would rather get is what? One with the remainder of one. And the one remainder, we don't want it to occur in this aspect of division. So that's why it's very necessary students to understand this aspect very well before we delve into some logarithms of numbers less than one. Because these are the things that can create problems. But once student has mastered it fully here now, so by the time we start doing those logarithms of numbers less than one, there won't be a problem. So, since we know that 4 cannot divide 5 without leaving a remainder, so it means the question which we have been asked to be adjusted. Now, we, adjust, we now re express that is, we rewrite this 5 as another number that when it's divided 4, it will leave no remainder. That is, it will leave the remainder of 0. So, which means this thing I have here will be written, so it's now going to become bar 8. I call it bar 8 because the next number after 5, that can be 5, 4, without leaving a remainder is 8. So that's the reason why it has to be called 8. But we know what we did was that uh, 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 it's like we added 3 to this thing. So it's now going to be plus 3, then 0.6, so divided by this for 8. So I hope that is clear. So from this level now division is possible. And we know division always starts from the front. So 4 in 8. That leads to so 4 down 1 by 2 plus how many 4 can we get in 3? That is not possible. It says 0 point. So this 3 will be carried here, making 36. And 4 in 36 here gives 9. So our result here is by 2.9. So the situation we are by this and this will leave a remainder of numbers other than zero, then the question has to be adjusted. So let's try the next question to see how simple how it goes. So here we have by 9.3 divided by 3. So when one observe this question very well, so we are going to see that 3 is the number that we divide 9 without leaving any remainder. So since it's divided without leaving any remainder, no need to adjust this question. So I will say that 3 in 9, so that is 3, so that is, I have bar 3 points, so 3 in 3 here is 1, so the result of this one is what? Bar 3.1. Now this is number 1, number 2. In the next question, which is number 3, what I have there is bar 3.6 divided by 4. Now, in any situation of division, the first thing we have to look for is the first number here, that is the number carrying the bar, as well as the denominator here. So, the two has to be a number that when division is carried out, no remainder. It will leave no remainder. But when we observe this, you we realize that 3 divided by 4 is not possible. So, also in this situation, the question also has to be adjusted. So we rewrite 3 as another number or as the next number which would be able to divide 4 without leaving a remainder. And I know when I change this number to 4, so it will give me a number that will divide 4 without leaving a remainder. So bar 3 in this case now becomes bar 3 plus 1. Bar 4 rather. 
it changes to what? Bar 4 plus 1.6 divided by 4. And we can see from this level now, division between this and this is very possible. So when I divide, so I can say 4 in bar 4, that's bar 1 plus 4 in 1 is not possible, 0 0.4 in 16 here gives 4. So and finally the result is going to be bar 1.4. And finally in number 4, I have bar 2.4 divided by 3. So when you want to observe this one as well, so it's very clear that um, 3 can't go in, uh, uh, in bar 2 because it is not possible. So I will have to make it a reality. We have to make it possible. So making it possible here means these two, that is the number carrying the bar here, has to be re-expressed. It has to be rewritten. So it will be rewritten as such a number that when it divides 3, it will cut without leaving any remainder. So it has to be the nearest number because there are many numbers that can divide 3. 6 can divide it, 9 can divide it, 12 can divide it, and so on. But the one we need is the, 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 the nearest number that will divide this 3 without leaving any remainder. So in the next number that can divide 3 without leaving any, without leaving any remainder is going to be 3. So this bar 3 will be shown to bar 3. Plus, but what we actually did was that what? 1 was added to this thing. So, bar 3 plus 1.4, then divided by 3 here. So, we can see the division is possible now. So, 3 in bar 3 gives bar 1 plus 3 in 1 here is 0 points. 3 now, the one gets you are looking for 3. 3 in 14 here is 4, with the remainder of 2. So, that 2 we add 0 to the bar 42. 3 in 20 will give 6. So that one will continue that way. So we say that our answer is by 1.4.